y'all. Welcome back to West of Loathing. And Joe's still here. Yes. And Why we're, would, we're going to... so. Yeah, well, you're definitely here. I can hear you. And we're going to expect this abandoned mine. I uh, bet there's... What? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, is there mine stuff here? Probably. This dry, dry washer is caked in dirt. Wash and dry it. We got an unrefined... Uh, you scrub the machine down. It doesn't look any better afterwards, but you do find some ore wedged in crannies here and there. We got an unrefined meat nugget and another unrefined meat nugget. Sure. There's a shiny thing in here. Take it. I got a strange silvery crystal. Is that a gem, though? Probably. Mm. Can't search these rocks, but I can teabag them. <laughs> the elevator has a lot of stuff wrong with it, so let's hit the problems. You hit the elevator in all the right places, so let's write it down. What we got? Mm. Oh, medkit fabricator. This mine isn't that great. That's cool. Yeah. Yep. We got nerve pills and a surgical gin. This switch has long since brushed away to uselessness. So has this one. We got 176 meat. Whoa, what's up with these weird rock formations? Dig it. Oh, a teleporter! Holy craps! Surprise! Okay. There are a bunch of paper cards. Grab them. We got another big cylinder. And unlock this with a keystone. We got scraps and a punch card. Nakusta Central Storage Facility! Okay, so that's basically all we got out of this. Which is still cool, but... Yeah. yeah. We can take some of this stuff to the Perfurser. Very true. Nothing in this cart to search. We got an unrefined meat nugget. 30 meat. More unrefined meat nugget. More unrefined meat nugget. We got dynamite and a can of kerosene. Oh, geez. That, that's a decent haul, right? Yeah. This place seems to be poorly ventilated oh. for a campfire. Maybe that's why no one's here. They all died. We got... A, <laughs> there's not much here. Oh, wait. There was a note. I didn't read it. The note says, Dear Jeff, got called up north to deepest dell. See you soon. Praise be Roberto. Sincerely, Jeff. What is with Jeff? I guess there's What's a lot of What's his actual name? Is his name even Jeff, or is it just... What? <laughs> Maybe Jeff. I don't know. Right? I don't know anything what? about Jeff. We know some things about Jeff, but not enough. Oh, geez, snakes. Kill him. Oh boy. What? So these snakes are terrible. And they're gonna murder you. Yep. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. That was quick. It's like your dad always said up two snakes in a mine, feeling fine. Three snakes in the dark, no walk in the park. I should have listened. Oh my. They knew this would happen! Let's turn off the nerd mode, it would look weird. Okay. okay, so we uh, can't we, go this way for a while. We tried it. So let's go talk to the jeweler and see if they can do anything with this silvery thing. Oh! Fort Unnecessary! Could. Should we go to the jeweler or Fort Unnecessary? Let's go back to the jeweler quick. We were on the way. I'm waiting. Oh! No, just just give him okay. the stuff. Have a look! Uh, strange silvery crystal. Let's see what he does with it. Uh, the Master Gerald takes your strange silvery crystal, cuts and polishes it, and sets it in a fine ring for you. Bah! All of trial! Oh, that's the same thing. You got the ring. Good work. Okay. Yeah, let's see what so. it does. Silicone ring. Eleven mysticality! Versus our nasty ring, which is one muscle, one mysticality. Oh my one gosh, yeah, put that fricker on! Frick! Yeah. So basically what's going to happen with the, uh... There, there's nothing in the abandoned mine past the snakes. Just so you know. Oh, okay, so we don't ever have to go back to those snakes again. 
no, unless you we want to die. So let's yeah, go to the professor. Or, okay, we have an option. Professor or Ford Unnecessary. Your choice. Let's check the professor. Uh, he, he, he's a good guy. 90% of the time. 90%. The other 10% of the time, you just want to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Off to the side of the trail, you spot a beer barrel cactus. Let's gather some burr. Good. Yeah. Sure. Okay, here we are. Purser is explaining something. Hey, okay, we can't do anything with this. Screw him, then! Screw you and your stupid bald head! Wait, I think I know where this thing might go. That thing that... Uh, maybe... Oh, wait. We're a smelling snake. Let's kill it. Oh, yeah. Not a problem. Bam. Bam. This doesn't do anything, you realize. It does this doesn't do anything? No, what are you expecting to do here? Oh, uh, the vibrato cylinder. We, there's nothing new to do. We did everything. We yeah, you can learn more stuff through the education center, right? This is the place, or is this? No, it was, not? it was the, it was the, um, it was the other thing that the, the, the <laughs> curious abandoned well. Did the Dutch oven mine need a cylinder? I thought there was a machine there that had, that had something. Uh, there's an open grave here and it's a little weird. Maybe they forgot to bring the body and had to go back and get it. Man, I bet that would be really embarrassing. Here, a few things I tell here. you what, do the punch card first because we know it's a guaranteed thing and then we can try the mine again, but I, it, it doesn't, like there's no plot from the mine. Well, what are these cylinders for? Could you look it up, please? I mean, they power stuff, but what that actually constitutes in terms of, like, the end of this quest? I don't actually know. Because it's very non-linear. Equipment and brooch. Weston Bridge. Clothing. Okay, no nothing else from that kind of card. Oh my gosh. We have nothing oh. to learn. We've learned every word. Good! Okay. Wait. Okay, yeah, go ahead and see if the mine needs more cylinders. I just... And, and yeah, if it does, cool. Then I'm sure it'll help later for some reason. But well, the thing is, if 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 this doesn't work, then you need to look up and see what these cylinders do. They're gonna you're stick gonna stick them in places you haven't seen yet because we haven't done anything on the left side of the map. Okay, they're, let's open up like the crate. three locations. We got a lock and a length of rope. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna use those. We might. I didn't think the crown was gonna be useful for anything. Fair enough. I thought we could just wear the crown, and it would just be a thing to put on our head. Which I was going to refuse to anyway, because we got this sweet spittoon. Okay, see, it's, it's this, see? See, look, that wasn't there before, and we put that in there a while back, so I thought that it might need to be put here. I don't know. That had a cylinder. Okay. We did it. So I guess let's go to Ford Unnecessary and wander around after that? Yeah. I mean, everything's going to be above the jeweler's cabin, just so you know. But yeah. that works, too. You ride past a woman who is running along the desert trail on foot. And although I say running, it's a slow run with an odd loping gait. She's dressed oddly too. No hat, thin strip of fabric tied across her forehead, light clothing, and strange soft looking boots that barely even come up to her ankles. Uh, everything all right? Are you running away from something, something pretty slow, like maybe a desert tortoise? <gasps> no, no, I'm jogging. What? Jogging. I invented it. It's like slow running. Where I'm from, we just walk. Stupidly, I might add. It's better exercise if you go faster. Not fast enough to actually get away from anything, though. But full out running wears you out. That isn't as healthy. It's healthier than being eaten by a bear. I, 
Look, I'm not being chased by bears. I've never been chased by a bear. Yes, that's obvious. You're alive and not a mangled lump. This is about physical fitness. Bears aren't an issue. Well, okay, you're right. Thank you. There aren't that many bears out here in the desert anyway. <sighs> Pack coyotes, though. You'd be in real trouble. This is a very frustrating conversation. They tear you to shreds, even without those goofy-looking shoes. Hey, I designed these myself. They are not goofy. They're pretty goofy. Gah. I mean, what good are they if they can't even run properly in them? What? They don't prevent. And they certainly aren't going to prevent protect your ankles. <sighs> They'll be perfectly good for kicking your ass! Gosh, all this exercise made you kind of belligerent. Get down off that horse! <laughs> How about we see if you can catch me? Yes. You ride away. The jugger runs after you for a bit yelling, but as predicted, she can't catch you. It's got to be the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Why, what did we just do? We just pissed off a lady to no end. She even invented jogging. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, okay. <laughs> a hairy looking young woman in military outfit darts in front of the door as you enter. Oh no, I can't be having any more misfits in this jerk ward. You can either swear to me that you're halfway competent, heck, even a quarter, and that you'll help sort out this crew of no helpers. Or you can turn right back around and march double time. Sure, I'll help. Okay. You're the first line. Uh, all right, I'm going to hold you to that promise. Come in, I'm Captain Harriet Davenport. My name's Festus Hagen. What's the problem, Cap? Problems. Welcome to Camp Fubar. While the army's idiots and rejects are sent so they're out of the way. I've had it up to my eyeballs trying to run this place. Please help these morons figure out their malfunctions. So they can muster out of here and leave me in peace. Can you give me some details? Uh, you'll need to talk to him individually for more information, but the brief is We got a scout who's blind as a bat, a cook who can't figure out how to make corned beef hash on toast A guy who can't load and fire a cannon without it blowing up and maybe shooting backwards A guy who somehow, and I can't for the life of me figure it out, is too bow-legged to ride a horse And a kid who was sent here because he can't figure out how to tie a bow tie Oh, and just put the icing on the cake, we have infinite goblins living in our storage shed Wow! Okay, I begin to see the scope of your complaint. Pal, you are not just whistling Dixie. So what did you do to get sent here? Uh, do not ask. <laughs> I, swear, I swear this game knows how I am in real life. Okay, well, I'll take a look around then. This, this game knows that I'm, that I'm a smart ass through and through, and I love it. Let's use our... Do we have any Binox? Yes, we do. You'd go for it, man. Ah, it doesn't give us anything. What the blush? Okay, this guy squints real hard as you as you approach. Howdy, do I know you? Your fuzzy silhouette don't seem familiar. No, I'm just passing through. What do you do here? Well, I'm supposed to be a scout, but I went and broke my own pair of glasses. Doubt them I can't see a dang thing. Maybe these will help. Disposable binoculars. He takes the binoculars and peers at you through them. Uh, well, I'll be! That ain't half bad! He climbs up to the watchtower and looks around. They work! I can see a dang thing! Hooray! Great. That's one down. <laughs> oh, boy. The, there's a nameplate on the desk that says, General, what's his name? Investigate. What that? Get, this desk is basically empty, but you do find a me old medal discarded in the drawers. You've got the Medal of Adequacy. Good. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Yeah, howdy. Hi, what's wrong? Ah, uh, gee, Wilkers. I had a pretty good job as a general assistant, but I got fired and reassigned here. What happened? Everything was great at first. I'm pretty good at scheduling, and I can write shorthand, and I'm an A-plus boot polisher. Then the general went and decided he looked more serious and sophisticated with the bow tie. And he expected me to do the tying for him. No good? 
Uh, nope, I can't do a sheep skank and a bowline and a clover hit. I can, but I for the life of me, I can't get a bow tie to look right. The general sent me out here with the one to practice on and said not to come back till I got it. Leave him to it, because we got to get Moxie. Okay, we got some stuff. Yeah, let's just boost her crap. What, what, where are we at right now? Uh, Moxie is 25. Uh, 40? We need 20. I mean, that's not impossible, but... Maximum HP... Uh... We should drink a couple of those for funsies. Alright. I don't know when we're going to sleep, but... Good. No, that's all we can take. No, we got one more. Yeah, there is, but our liver is like oh. a three. Uh, surgical gin, that's armor. Mm. Blossom gin is melee damage. Mm. Seven spell damage. Uh, we never examined the cow fragment. Uh, leave it for now. Uh, sarsaparilla, that's moxie. Yay. Oh, cool. We got oh. we got an effect. Saspa whatever. So we're at twenty eight. Yay. Uh, ooh, eat a nine from the chocolate custard. Yes. Yeah, it was gustard. Okay. Okay. Uh, that puts out fires apparently. Um, that's plus we nine, Moxie. Chest full of metals. What did we What did we get rid of though? Uh, we got rid of the revolting brooch for it. But now we have 49 Moxie. Yeah, let's help him tie a bow tie. And help him out. Okay, here, grab the two ends like this, right? You want this side a little shorter, and that end crosses over the top, and then under and up, while the other side does sort of a zigzag, see? And then you bring the upper bit straight down and back around, and it folds under there, and then you pull them tight. Got it? Um, I think so. Let me try it. Let him try the two of you go back and forth a few times and he f until he finally gets it right without poking himself in the eye. I think I've got it. Thanks a lot. Wait till I show the general. He runs out of the building, waving the bow tie in the air. Good luck. Cool. All right, so we got... We, it would be cruel to loot these people's supplies. <laughs> How did it, Robert? Cooker. How appropriate. Well, it would be if I knew how to cook. Like, even a little bit. What seems to be a problem? We only got two ingredients here, and I cannot for the life of me figure out how to combine them. What are the ingredients? Corned beef hash and toast. Hmm. Try to help him with a metaphor. What have you thought of the toast as a shingle? I like this. I like this. He, he nods, seeming to understand where you're going with this. And think of the corned beef as a shinola. Oh, so, okay, so that's not the right answer. Let's try again. We got a shingle and your head. <laughs> no, okay. We Maybe got it's a not a shingle. But let's try it one more time. Just okay. We got a couple more options. We can figure this out. A shingle Here. and a corncob pop. Nope. Let's try a shingle and a hole in the ground. Nope. Let's try a road map and shinola. No. <laughs> One of these will do it. I think. Your head? Sh oh, crap. I chose shingle. Roadmap and a hole in the ground? Nope. Oh, crap. I keep picking shingle. Uh, Let's try a shoe. Let's try a shoe and a shinola. Of course, I put the corned beef on the toast! Just like Shinola on a shoe! I get it now, thank you. What the heck is Shinola? Ah! You're... <laughs> Hang on, I'm It's a look. brand I'm... of shoe polish. Oh, that makes so much more sense now. Okay, I'll let it taste work. <laughs> okay, so we've taken care of that guy. And there's... We can't take their food. Oh! This horse, has, this horse, horse has four left legs. Uh... Hmm. Ha! 
I wanna... Howdy. They call me Private Bullbait. I can see why. You seem uncomfortable. You ain't kidding. Look at my legs. They're bent so far out I can't hardly touch both knees at once. Walking hurts like a dickens. The captain said it keeps you from riding a horse. Yep, they're too wide. Horse slips right out between them. Huh. I think I could ride a mule. Oh, well, with them being a tad lower to the ground. Where would you get a mule? Well, there's a place up north to ransom out, but I can't get out of there myself, so I need someone to go set up the contract on my behalf. Have them send them one. All right, I'll check it out. Okay, we can either do the mule or we can do the same thing, but with muscle. We do need to go to the mule place anyway. True. So uh, first, let's look in the shed here. Yep. Oh, that's infinite goblins. Uh oh. Okay. No. Never mind. Uh, let's talk to this guy. He's a cannon guy, isn't he? Howdy. What's the haps? I'm supposed to be a cannoneer, but I'm terrible at loading cannons. I always explode, except not the way they're supposed to explode, or else they don't explode at all. Huh. The only time I ever got to fire one right. Uh, the cannibal knocked my sergeant's hat off, and he was standing behind me. I still can't figure out how that happened. So they signed me to this loser squad and said I can't report back for proper duty until I figured out how to load a cannon right. We got a book a long time ago called Cannon Loading for Idiots. I'm an idiot! Okay, that didn't work. Uh, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Oh, crap. I keep hitting, I keep hitting two as one. <laughs> Here, maybe this will hail. Oh, huh. Let's see. Oh, you take the stick back out before you put the cannonball in? Well, that certainly sounds easier. Let him figure it out. He carefully follows the directions in the book and successfully throws a cannonball over the wall of the fort. I did it! Wow, great. Thanks a lot. I'm gonna go get my new assignment right away. Cool, good luck. Now let's go get that mule and we can tell boss lady that we are done helping her. Wow, that was impressive. Mm-hmm. Alamo rent a mule. Hey, that reminds me of the car company. <laughs> uh. You, you find a makeshift grave. The wooden marker has been carved with the epitaph. Not from around here, but a real square little fella. Dig it up. We got a handful of old coins, a gold skull, and an old engagement ring. Sure. Hello, Susie. Uh, What's new, Susie? I don't know any ranches out this way specifically, but yes, let's see, there's one out that way. You think it's worth following up on a guest like that? It's gonna land out that way, and there's plenty of folks looking to make a life of it. I can't imagine it's been left empty. Okay, let's, uh, thanks for the reminder, okay. Hello. We have we, we can get needles. Woo. Just yeah, that's always nice. Rentals. Looks like this is where you go to rent a mule. Just judging from the sign, you know. Howdy, welcome to Almo Rent a Mule. How can I help you? I'd like to rent a mule. Don't you have a horse? What do you need a mule for, if I may ask? Oh, it's not for me. I'm picking one up for someone else. Yeah, all right then. That'll be fifteen hundred meat. Whoa, well, Nelly, why is it so expensive? It's a lifetime contract. We're no business isn't what it used to be, so we made some changes to our business model. I suppose technically we should change the name to Alamo Buy Mule, but we'd have to change all our branding. You can't really rebrand a mule. They're too wary after the first time. We've got the money. Let's go ahead and do it. We sure as frick do. Great. Here's your contract slash certificate of title. Thanks, I guess. Can you have the mule delivered to Fort Unnecessary to the south? No problem. Thanks for choosing Alamo Rental Mule, and please remember us for all your future mule needs. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's go. <laughs> I just want to talk to this guy and see what he wants. Oh, great. Another customer. If I didn't have enough to deal with already, what with the paperwork and the heat and the mule bites and someone keeps stealing my lunch out of the employee icebox and my trick knuckle is acting up again. Gosh. Sure, it would be nice to get a little piece of quiet, but nope, I gotta stand here at the counter all day. And the hardwood floor isn't helping my sciatica, let me tell you. 
Don't even get me started on what they pass around here. The mules eat better than I do. Uh huh. And if that wasn't bad enough, I went and dropped my daughter's birthday present down a stupid hole in a stupid mine. Will anyone, will anyone go get it for me? Ah, <laughs> yeah, right. You want me to go get it? Oh my gosh, what, really? Did a miracle just occur? I can't hardly believe Where'd you lose it? Not how far from here, a place called Deepest Delve Mine. It just happens to have the last part of the whole uh, El Vibrato quest. No biggie. I was looking to scavenge some free string to tie up the package with, and I dropped it. And of course, because it's a bracelet, it's round, so of course it rolls into a hole under some kind of stupid machine. Okay, I'll check it out. Uh, okay, but first we're going back to L uh, uh, for unnecessary. Sure. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. I, I choked on my own spit. Off to one side of the trail, you spot a goblin digging in the sand with a little shovel and pail. Hello, I am clams digging. Clams? Clams not being in desert. Clams is ocean things. That's showing what you're knowing. Clams ocean fish being like slugs, with shells having, not in deserts. Oh, yes, smarty human. Look at this, then. They, they pull a large piece of shiny abalone shell out of their pail, which, while not exactly a clam, is an indeed an odd thing to find in the desert. We can't steal it, I don't want to fight him, so let's leave him alone. Fair enough. Shrug and leave the goblin to their digging. He's having fun. Good. Good for him. Well, we're having fun, too. That's true. Oh, okay. The uh, howdy, cat. Howdy, Hagen. Oh, what... You're doing a great job here. I still don't remember the voice anymore. Look like only one hapless goofball left to fix. Who's left? Private Bowleg still can't ride a horse somehow. 10 4 we'll take care of it. Okay, let's skip through this because we already know. Uh, give him the yeah. Alamo contract. Yep, here's your contract. They said they'll send the mule directly to pick you up. Well, that's a load off of a whole assortment of my limbs. Thanks, friend. He takes the contract and slowly moseys outside to wait for his mule. Hey, wait, you owe me 1500 meat, damn it. Nah. Uh, hey, we're done. Let's talk to the cat. Great job. That's everyone dealt with and out of here. That means I'm finally out of this hellhole, too. If we ever cross the pads again, I really owe you one. Captain Davenport frisbees her clipboard, snaps you a salute, and marches out of the fort, all in a day's work. Actually, we, we haven't exactly, um... We can add stuff to this! I for, we forgot about that. Let's put let's do that lockpicking. We now have lockpicking level 3. How much can we add to the stuff up top? Okay, let's, uh... Well, actually, let's look around and see what else... Well, nothing over down here will be anything. Okay, we can put it in muscle, mysticality, moxie, grit, gumption, or glamour, or snake whip, deploy snake, fan hammer, grin and skull, good medicine, strong medicine, shoot nanny, um, vampiric yodel, rain of teeth, bad medicine, or dark howdy. For F sakes, um, <coughs> we gotta fill it. We gotta fill it up before we turn that back on, and we may lose all this XP. H damage. I'm gonna leave it up to you. I, uh, I don't know. Um, I put it in muscle. Cool. Let's just uh, turn it. back on automatically spend XP. All right. Cool. So now that we've done that, do we have time to visit? No, we don't. We don't have time to visit these places. So we'll do that next time. Okay. So, thank y'all for watching this episode of West of Loathing. If you liked it, leave me a like. If you're new around here, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.